Welcome to Book Talks with Diane. Today's book is Only the Brave by Danielle Steele. From number one New York Times bestselling author Danielle Steele comes a powerful, sweeping historical novel about a courageous woman in World War II Germany. Sophia Alexander, the beautiful daughter of a famous surgeon in Berlin, has had to grow up faster than most young women. When her mother falls ill, Sophia must take charge of her younger sister, Teresa, and look after her father in the household, while also volunteering at his hospital after school. Meanwhile, Hitler's rise to power and the violence in her very own town have Sophia concerned, but only her mother is willing to share her fears openly. After tragedy strikes and her mother dies, Sophia becomes increasingly involved in the resistance, attending meetings of dissidents and helping however she can. Circumstances become increasingly dangerous and personal when Sophia assists her sister's daring escape from Germany, fleeing Germany with her young husband and his family. Her father also begins to resist the regime secretly healing those hiding from persecution, only to have his hospital burned to the ground. When he is arrested and sent to a concentration camp, Sophia is truly on her own, but more determined than ever to help. While working as a nurse with the convent nuns, the, sister of Mer the Sisters of Mercy, Sophia continues her harrowing efforts to transport Jewish children to safety and finds herself under surveillance. As the political tensions rise and the brutal, brutal oppression continues, Sophia is undeterred, risking it all, even her own freedom. As she rises to the challenge of helping those in need, no matter the cost. In Only the Brave, Danielle Steele vis vividly captures the devastating effects of war alongside beautiful moments of compassion and courage. I gave this book four and a half stars. Everyone knows how much I love historical fiction and how much I enjoy reading Danielle Steele books. So when I saw this book was a historical fiction by Danielle Steele, my reaction was, oh yes, please send me that book to review. I like books where I can connect and like the main character. I have so much admiration and respect for Sophia. She is brave, courageous, and strong. The things she did and endured were not easy to do. This book does have some romance in it, but it is mostly a historical fiction book. If you enjoy those type books, you will enjoy reading it as much as I did. This book will be available April 30th, 2024. Thank you to Edelweiss and the publisher for the advanced reader's copy of this book for my honest opinion. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you again soon. Without a stuffy nose and a gravelly throat, but I live in West Texas, and it was windy yesterday. My allergies got me. See you later. Bye.